Right, so the first thing I got was a Dickens and Jones. It looked like wax. It's a waterproof jacket with a flowery lining. It's in really, really good condition. It's a size 12, I don't know if I've said. Did I say that? It's got a belt. And I wouldn't normally go for a small size, but it was only £2. Nice. Yeah. Got that yesterday. Well done. Oh, no. What? This one oh. is another Dickens and Joan. It's like a, a bit like a riding jacket. It's a padded, quilted design. Check the most money in the pocket. You should do that. No money in the pockets, that's a shame, isn't it? Um, again, this is a size 12, and it's in a maroon colour. It's like a riding jacket, isn't it? Um, with a belt round it. And that was again, that was two pounds. Yeah. This is not something I'd wear, but it's well, new. Well, it's too bright for me. It's new and it's a size Wallace. medium, and it's a Wallace dress with a nice bright orange and yellow design and then at the back it's more of a yellow yellow and black actually it's quite nice it's um yeah be all right for summer everybody so i paid a pound for that a pound one pound i'm gonna put that up for about 12 pound oh yeah yeah then i got this for the pound a pound and this is a ralph lauren polo shirt for a pound in a nice white that? salmon, the same lady that was selling these. And it's, it's a salmon pink. Look, you're only jealous. It's genuine. Are you checking to see if it's genuine? Yeah. yeah, it's genuine. And it's got the Ralph Lauren little label on. And that was a pound. I'm going to put that for about twelve ninety five. Yeah. These are good iron as well. Mm. Then I got from the bigger car boot, I got this dress. I think I can't remember if it was a pound or two pound. I can't remember if it was either a pound or two pound. It's from Principles and it's a long crocheted dress. It's nice, huh? It is, it's different and it's in a size 10, I think. It's very hippie, boho. Isn't it? Boho. Boho. What's well, Boho? Yeah. That's a shop, no. isn't it? No. Boo boo. No, that's boo hoo. It's very it's more like, like hippie. What's the difference between boo hoo and boho then? Well, boo hoo's a shop and boo hoo's crying and boho is like bohemian. How does it spell boho? B O H O O. And how does it spell boo hoo? B O O H O O. Oh, okay. But I thought that was a really nice crochet dress and it's in very, very good condition. How much is it? I think it is either pound or two pound. I can't remember. This she wanted a five pound, this she wanted a five pound for. Um, and I got her down to two pound fifty. You cruel sod. <laughs> and it is a Sarah Hamilton size 14 jacket and I think it's really nice. Wear it then. That's your kind of style, isn't it? I like that. Yeah. I'd like to dress like steampunk and that's quite steampunky as well. Yeah. I think it'd suit you. Yeah. Letting the guard down a bit. Mm. I like that. So I'm unsure whether to sell that one. Then I got this for two pound fifty which is a Sony docking station. Docking station. So I, it up. I haven't looked it up yet. I don't know if it's worth anything at all. Well, I think they're about fifteen pound, aren't they? If not more. Don't know. If it's it works, it's models. got no leads with it at all. So I need to check that one out. This, which is a Womble. I can't remember what was a Womble called. It was like this. Ermintrude. Ermintrude. Going and I thought she was old, but then I that's put... one called Bulgaria, isn't it? No, is it? I don't know. One called Bulgaria wore a lacy shawl. Uh. 
I don't know, but then it is by. <coughs> Maybe it's tinged with it right. First Love Teddies. But I can't see the date on it because I, I need to wear my glasses more, don't I? Really? I mean to have a look for you. 19. 1998. Right. So it's not very vintage really. No. It's a little bit. Not right, really. how old vintage? 25 years, isn't it? 25, no, no, yes. Yeah, I thought that was cute. And I got it for so £2.50. I think it was £2.50 that one. And I'm going to see if I can get £15 for it. Cool. And if I can't get £15, £7.99 is just still right for me. Yeah. Okay. Good. Then I got. Well, there's a story behind these ones. These are snowboards. No, they're not. Yeah, snowboard snow boots. Salomon. Oh, Salomon. Salomon. I walk past them and they're in really, really good condition. Times. I walk past them 12 times. They're white and somebody's drawn on them. And they've got dirt on I do it every time. Oh no, somebody hasn't drawn on them. Yeah, it's just a pattern. a pattern. There's just a little tiny bit of black mark in there, that's which I can clean it off. And a big a dog poo on the shoe base. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, I smell it, thank you. It looks actually really well, apart from that bit of dog poo there. Dog um, poo. It looks like it. And that's absolutely mint. Um, she wanted £10 for them and they were to buy new. She said she's only worn them twice. But to buy new they were £109.99 um, and she's worn them twice and they say they're in immaculate condition. I'm just going to clean that one bit of darkness there. Um, but she wanted £10 and I was my normal tight self. And didn't want to pay ten pounds. So I walked away after looking for a long time, and sent Simon back to haggle because he's better at haggling than me. And he got them for a fiver. I yeah. gave him a fiver and said, "Can you do them for a fiver?" So he did. He got them. So I'm really pleased with them. Five pound, and hopefully I get about fifty. Okay. Hoping. Then I got this box, and there was all these people grabbing over my shoulder and grabbing onto what I'd already grabbed onto. So I bought it in quite a um, hurry. Haste. Hasty, yeah, hasty. So I didn't really look what I was in the box. But I saw this and it's the I can't what you call it. Wow. And it's in really good condition. It's the It's the Skywalker. Skywalker. Yeah, Is Skywalker. It? Um and it's nineteen eighty three. So I know that it's worth between thirty and forty pound, right. and I paid fifteen pound for the box, so that is my bargain of the day. Don't drop it. Yeah, don't drop it. Do you have it as an ornament until you've sold it? Yeah. You should do it. Yeah. Shouldn't it blue? No, not really. Oh. Oh, that'll do. So then, in this box, there was this, do, 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 which is two thousand and two. That one. So I don't know what it is. It's a air flighter thing. It looks like a fighter. This, comes out, doesn't it? which is another 2002, I know that's worth £10 because I bought that one off. This bit, oh you know, yeah it all comes off and bullets in. I don't know what this one is. Anybody knows what all these are? Can... I don't know what that one is. Uh, that That's one, one of them bike things, isn't it? I've seen that. But, um, see, I've never really been that much into Star Wars, but you know that, uh, what's it called? Jar Jar, no, Jar Jar Binks. Jar Jar Binks rides one of them, doesn't he? I don't know. Yeah, it's one of the ones that go through the woods on. So then we got that. Who's that one? I, I don't watch Star Wars. Who's that one? Chewbacca. Chewbacca. That's about the only one that anyone knows. And so I've got all these little figures. Some of them, Simon informed me, aren't anything to do with Star Wars. Like. Not that I'm not cool though. Like that one's not anything to do with Star Wars. How was that? Lego? <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, so I need to look at all these. 
We've got all sorts actually. Um, somebody without an arm. Um, what are they ones called? I don't know. Looks like it's got a nap on. What do you call them? They're in. They're in what you call them. That was rather rude. They're in. Um... <laughs> Trust you. What do you call them? This is what I'm laughing at, look. <laughs> yeah, so we've got all these with outfits. And you are crackers. There's all sorts. And that one as well. One of these one. Are. Like, that does look like you. That's Gollum. That's up on all the things, isn't it? Gollum. Uh, I don't know who these figures are. That's Star Wars, uh, I think. Is it? The other things I got, I thought I was doing really well, and then Simon like crushed my. Three thousand and uh, three. Simon crushed, crushed me, crushed. I said, "Oh look, I got this <laughs> for two pound," and it was leapfrog, so it's a bag. Oh, Alex is going to say, and it's got three games in there. It's really in good condition in there and it's got the books, so it's got these books, three of those, and a pencil. I don't think it's but is that to go with it? Oh. And it works, I didn't think it worked. The dogs don't want to go. So it's a leap pad with the pen. And I thought, oh, Leap pad, everything be worth about thirty pound. Simon went. Oh, it depends what series it is. It's worth about ten. I didn't say it like that. He did. He crushed my dreams. And everything. So yeah, leap pad learning system. I feel crushed. So I thought I was doing really well and I was really proud of myself for getting it and did, you know, being well. really positive. You did and well. You went, which series is it then? Damn, 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 What are you doing? If you notice, I was having to climb over everything because our room is just full of stuff again. The test is a broken tea snake. A what? <laughs> Well, surprise, no? The last thing I got was this. So she didn't know if it worked. It's a goblin. So it's a teapot. She didn't know if it worked? No, it was a mum's. Uh. So that's one of them. They're really in good condition. And the elements are clean as well. What's the sound bottle? The... Goblin. Goblin. Might use it and then you can make me a cup of tea in the morning. Oh, thank you. Oh, so that one's really, no, really no, lovely condition. And then. <laughs> <laughs> That's not funny. And then. Also. That part of it, which is the main part of it, which you need, don't you? And it's, in, it's really clean, but as I say, she didn't know if it worked, so I've got to pull that in and check if it works. And it's got a tray with it as well. well the tray has got a break in at the edge, so I might just buy a new tray. Yeah? Or just not list it with the tray. Because uh -huh. that's broken. It is. Now we pay for that. I paid three pounds. Oh, that's not bad. I you were going to say 15 or something. No, three pound. And if they sell for about 30, but it's that's if it's working. That's good. Yeah, you're just looking down at me and saying, 30, is that all you got for yours? <laughs> oh, no. I'm changing Simon's name to Jammy. It already is. It's a detecting name, wasn't it? No, I think it was a jammy one. Yeah, so that is what I got. Oh. 
I did get a tease made. <laughs> In a good condition. No, it's not. <laughs> um, so I spent altogether £75. Did you? Have you added it up? Wait a minute. We're just randomly guessing. No. <laughs> I've got a clue what I spent. Yeah, I spent £75 this weekend. You could add up what I spent, let me tell you. Okay. Huh? Right, look for this. Simon's hoard. Right. It'd take a while to go through all this. We might have to do it in two parts. Just don't yeah. talk too much. Don't talk too much. Right, go on then, correct. Have you showed me steamers? No, I haven't showed anything. No, we're not picking them out. Darth Vader. Does it work? Telephone. Works. I'll have to listen to it. I don't think you can do it with that thing. It's got to be plugged in, I think. Oh, that's a shame. Or is it on off switch or something? Oh, it might be there, look. I say you had it on earlier. I think, yeah. Station. It's a box. There you go. And it's called, I forgot the right way up, yeah? It's called the Monster Book of Monsters and it's Harry Potter. Right? And you can't open it. But, if you like this. Ta da! should have a book in it, apparently. That's it. So I've got that for £3. We have about 25. A bag full of computer in there. How much are they worth? That, how much pound. is that one worth? Seven pounds. Right, and how much did I pay for 20? Oh, shut up. How much did I pay for yeah, 20? Yeah, they're in date. How much did I pay for 20? Eight pounds. No, how much did I pay for 20? You just said eight pounds. Three pounds. Wow, that's a bargain, yeah. isn't it? Shoes. They are. Carry more, I don't know why I keep being drawn to the carry more shoes, but um, D30, I think they're worth about 12 quid or something, maybe 15 at a push. I pay £3.50 for them. Ski goggles, there you go, more ski goggles. Which ones are these ones? Are these the only got? No, these are the ones that were next to Jeanette's boots. That I wanted. Rubbish. HDO goggles. It's got it on there somewhere, isn't it? HDO. Anyway, HDO goggles, and I think I'm not sure. I think they're worth about twenty quid anyway. I got them for three pounds. I think we'll find it. What are you laughing at? I'm You're just been putting faces there. I'm not like you. I do. It's funny. Right. TP-Link router. Um, I pay £3 again for that, and I think that's. I'm not sure with that actually. I'll have to look that up. Easy. I can take a power cork. Can't find any of them sold in this country, but I'll have them another look. There's some in America that's sold for £35, but. I don't know. Paid. Paid. £2. No, I think I paid more. I think I paid £3 on that as well. Since I've paid £3 on a lot of things, don't I? Anyway, there you go. Mm -hmm. Cyberman mask dot through, talking thing, don't know if it works. And I'll sell it like that as well. Because I don't want to take the batteries out and all that. Um, another mask, which is a good ugly one. There's another talking mask thing. There we go. 
Oh, Doctor Who. no, Doctor Who. Carefully, no. Jump from the top up. Like right, so. You're very bossy. And that's helping you. Oh, it's a thingy. I want it to work. I'm not sure. Right. You have to get the batteries out. I think it's difficult to get out, do you? And I'll try and turn it on. I'm not going. <laughs> so you can put these on, sit next to each other, and go. Hello. Hello. Can you see? It? No. Can you? Yeah. What? <laughs> I can't see anything. I can't. I can see a bit blurry. Okay. Are you going to carry on then with what you got? Yeah. Are these worth though? Yeah. What? Fifteen quid on that one. On this one? No, this one. That was worth about a fiver. It's about 20, 25 for it to go from the repair. Not bad. I think it's quite an improvement. But you can. Land Rover Freelander Remote Control Car, £5. I paid for it. I think it's worth about 25 <laughs> Nail gun. Compressed air one. I ain't got a compressor, so I can't test it, so sell it as it is. I paid £3 again. I pay three pound for it, and I guess it's worth about ten, twelve, fifteen bag with some shoes. I want that, which are Nike little kiddies Nike golf shoes, good condition, size three, Nike golf the gold, and looked them up. Pay three pound, I think, or was it two? Look. The new near the float. You can see that tag in there? Yeah. That what are they? So, oh, ta -da! I got this one, which is the Yugi. Yogi, Yugi, Yugi. Yeah. Five pound! Okay. <laughs> Get my money back on them then. Yugi. Off a of Super Mario with no tag. So it's not new that one. I got three plushies and I paid £2.50 for free. That one's nice, look. Hello! Hello? How are you? Ah, hello. Hello. Ah, hello. Brand new look. Tag. By tenner. Fujifilm F10. Researched a load of Star Wars figures, little things, little things, some more little things, some taggy things there. Uh, don't know what's going to work. Tonight's complaining you can't see my little Star Wars figures there, uh, Star Wars ones, and Star Wars ones, and not Star Wars ones. I don't know if that's Star Wars, but it's not guy. Alright, so there's a box of them there. And there's another box of them here. Which could be a fourth, but I don't think it is because I got that with it. And I got a lot more figures. And that didn't tell me it was worth about 20 quid. It's McDonald's. <laughs> some, more. some of them we've got bits missing up of them like arms. Quite essential parts like, but you never know. Might have been chopped off by lightsabers. There's a little little one that don't look like McDonald's, isn't That's there? the one you want. Him. There's another big one like that there, Got quite a bit of those. So I got that and the other box that I just showed you and I paid 20 quid for it and the only reason I, I had to, couldn't really gamble, I had two people behind me and I could feel them breathing on my shoulder just waiting for me to move so they could get it. So I just bought it and then if I, if I lose money, I lose money, I can't win it more, can you? I find all different ones, 
Oh, that's two the same. Not really working, this is it. Uh, buffalo. Wolf. Same store as I was saying. I got five pairs of motorbike gloves. There's Rika. R I C H A. Rika. Leather motorbike boots. Boots. Gloves with the Teflon bits there. <laughs> I paid a five each for these gloves. I know that one pair of them's worth about 25 quid, which is them, them ones. So I've covered myself on them, and then whatever I make on the other is this profit once a tax ones are just cut, and eBay's have their cut, and PayPal's have their cut, post offices have their cut. And they have a bit left then. Won't make a profit on them anyway. What we've got in here? Oh no! No! Oh, oh, you're so not funny. No, no. How much did you buy these for? Ten uh, pounds. Ten it. You paid ten pounds for these. And the five for goggles. Which are Tommy. Mm. What are they? Snowboard boots. Yeah. Immaculate condition. I don't think they've ever been worn though. And they're a hundred and nineteen pounds, aren't you? I don't know. Because it says it on the side of the box, they have been worn because there's a mark on them. Yeah. And then he got these goggles. How much are these? Fiver. Goggles, O'Neill. 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 Five pound worth of tenner. Uh, Fifteen again then. They're brand new as well. Still Why do here. People buy stuff and they're not used. It? These people have wacky ideas about going thinking, yeah. don't they? Lots of money. Like neck in the box, will they? And then he got these lovely boots. That look brand new and they are sketches. Original sketches. What size are they then? Seven. And I might just have to try them on. I think the seven. Can't bust them, will you? What are you trying to say, like? I paid for them. I've got fat legs, but I like them. <laughs> What's that face for? We can't see your face. So. 30 quid. Okay. How much did you pay for those? Three pounds. Got a good deal there. I know they good, aren't they? Yeah. Right. Look, five, I think. Pay for five them. pound. How much are they worth? About 20, 25. Worth about 30, 25. These are actually five, in mint, mint condition, the brand new. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's nothing, no mark on them at all. And then, uh, you know, a bit of a flop, I think. Yeah. yeah, look, I'll take that one off you and you'll have done it too. And then he got these and these are a flop because these are now saturated on the market. It's the Vintage Risk. And you got that one and that one and you paid £7, didn't you? Oh, £5. £5. £6. £6. Higher, higher, higher than the thing. Got this with this. Who remembers these? Recording, I remember. Yeah. Recording on a Sunday. Yeah, Top 40. I put my phone, to look it up. Actually, mine weren't, I didn't have one as good as this. Yeah, Because no. I was poor. See you here. A little bag of Lego. Now, there's a mixture, and I'm guessing from a quick look at it. It was a stacker box full, and I just said it was a First thing I saw on car boot, and it's one of them where it's like horse racing, you line drops and you run. Um, and I said to the woman, How much do you want for it? It was in a stack of box, it said £8. So I just said, I'll have it. She said, You can't have the stack of box, so I tipped it in a the bag. Then as I'm looking through it, some of it's Lego and some of it isn't. So, going by average of picking it out, I'm guessing that about 70% of it's Lego. And there's some little figures in, I don't know if they're Lego figures, but we'll find out as well. Digging through, I'm guessing 70% is figures, is Lego. Even things with wheels on and stuff. It's got to be worth it. This one, 
goes anything from £11, but then the one that's sold for £32 last week. I paid two quid for it. Yeah, and you paid £2. Is that with a microphone? No, that's without the microphone. Yeah. Well. I got a microphone with it. Yeah. So, it? Yeah, the bloke said to me, the only, the only way you can have that is if you hide it quick because my son doesn't want to get rid of it. His little kid played. Oh. So I did it quick. This. Hello. Can you see me? Hello. Hello. Quite ugly. Yeah. A troll. It's the biggest troll block. So she said, I ain't got them out, I've only got that one out because I don't want to let them go for next to nothing. She said the minimum I'll take on them and that's for definite is £5 and if you want to look at the others they're in car. So I said okay then, I'll have a look. So, how tall are they? One, one for there? £5, you need to take measure 12 inch, more, more than 12 inch. Got tape measure. Yeah. Anyway, it's just carrying on with the story. There's that one, and then there's that one. And 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 that one. Oh god, that's lovely. <laughs> that one's different. It's a full plastic body, it's not a bag body. That one's totally different to the rest. Yeah, you can get a completely plastic one as well. How much is a completely plastic one? I haven't looked yet. Depends how rare they are. The hair was so it's all matted. Yeah, it's not bad, eh? Toothpaste on it, I don't know.